So welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're taking a look at ASTAR, got some updates, some news, and also my kind of bull thesis for this project in this video, as we're looking to accumulate these coins during the bear trend and enjoy the riches during the next bull market. So this is ASTAR, if you don't know about them, they're a Polkadot parachain. It's its own layer one smart contract platform. And so this has huge upside potential in my opinion. And it's currently sat rank 165 so well out of the pecking order and also the market caps around 400 million dollars so if you actually 3x the circulating supply you get close to the total uh, which will take quite some time to actually hit that over the next few years uh, but you're looking at a fully diluted of around 1.2 billion dollars only so current market cap 425 for me is the most important thing there is quite a bit of inflation this is a parachain so we're getting continual releases of these tokens month by month um, so that is something to actually consider with this but generally the price growth has been actually pretty decent considering a large amount of inflation over the last few months the price has really started to tick up here so essentially with this the parachain launched i think it was around january time so it's only been live for like four months being its own smart contract platform, as you can see, this chart kind of paints the picture here that there was some immediate, you know, slow growth, a bit of a sell-off here, people cashing in their profits from the parachain, but then we just grinded along at around 10 cents here. And then you can see these big green candles coming in, in terms of volume here, as dApps were starting to be deployed and TVL just coming onto this chain. So this is what drove price up, you know, a bit over the top here to around 30 cents. And subsequently, we are now retracing down here to around 15, 16 cents as we speak. I did add yesterday on the dip, but the dip has continued to dip, uh, but that's fine by me. I just want to try and accumulate as many of these coins over the bearish trend. So I got yesterday a fill at around 17 cents. It's now roughly around 15.5 to 16 cents. But as I say, the upside for this one, I think far outweighs the downside potential for this and also getting into a layer one that is pretty much new this means we haven't got loads of salty bag holders imagine some of the other layer ones that people have gone through a full market cycle just been obliterated on a downturn they're probably going to look for exit liquidity at some point whereas i think individuals in this token are less likely to be doing so so part of the thesis is that as well but a star is something that i think is a bit out of people's you know sites they don't really know too much about this there's not a huge amount of coverage on youtube especially in the west over here but you've got to think the world is a very big place and this is you know polka dot in general is quite an eastern focused project i mean the investment over in china japan south korea etc is quite phenomenal for these projects and a star being one of the leading ones as well and the founder sota is japanese himself i think the attention probably is over in that kind of region of the world but this gives you a bit of alpha over here in the west if you can research some of these projects just in my opinion a star here is the best performing parachain uh, out of all the crowd loans thus far in terms of the rewards per dot i.e for each dot that you put down you got roughly back 16 bucks worth of this underlying token here. So it outperformed Moonbeam, Clover, Akala, and Centrifuge, just to name a few there. So uh, this one, in my opinion, is hella bullish. Let's look at the roadmap here. So essentially what they've done is they've launched their network. They've also got bridges to a load of other chains as well. So you can actually move A star across to a variety of different chains and utilize it, which is very important, it needs to be multi-chain. As you can see down here, EVM tooling, it is EVM compatible as well. So you can add it to your MetaMask. So of course the Polkadot wallet, maybe not the most friendly one to use, uh, but having EVM compatibility is very important. And for the smart contracts as well, of course that is important. So they built out DAP staking, build to earn tokenomics here, essentially build to earn is their own kind of uh, way of distributing the token emissions from the layer one to the dApps that build on top of it and also stakers to those individual dApps we'll jump into that in just a second a little bit more i can show you how to stake some of these tokens and what you can do if you've got some of these in the parachain or if you got involved with a lock drop that we previously discussed i think probably a couple of years back now on the channel uh, into q2 here some really interesting things they're going to add Arthswap, swap one of the main dexes to the main portal for a star and down here as well, WebAssembly contract tooling coming, 
new homepage, DAP staking performance metrics, just a load of variety of, of different updates in there. And then down here, we have a native bridge integration within the ASTAR portal to come as well, DAP staking manager and a layer two developer tooling. So quite a lot of technical stuff within their roadmap for this year, uh, but they are building stuff quite consistently here, which is good to see. So this is the DAP staking page. You can see the APR is currently around 11%. So if you got involved with the lock drops or if you've got some parachain tokens and they're here on the portal, this is portal.astar.network, that is the web address. You'll have some tokens in here. They may be vesting, but you can actually contribute to the DAP staking program here, even with your vested tokens. Uh, so that is what I've done. And I've been able to take some of these vested tokens and start staking them to Arthswap here, which is one of the biggest DEXs over here. And that means that those tokens that were vested and I couldn't really do, they're not liquid. They're still actually earning me a nice APR right now. Really simple to do. Come and connect your wallet, get involved with this DAP staking over here. As there's quite a lot of inflation right now in this network with new tokens coming online, you want to ensure that you're accruing more through these uh, DAP staking platform here. So get involved with that. We can also see over on the portal, they've got their dashboard, which has been filled out quite a bit here. They're doing quite a bit in terms of making the visualization of the data a lot more easy. Uh, you can see from this as well, that currently we are roughly 911,000 blocks in. The total value locked on here is 1.1 billion, but that is due to the fact we have around 460 mil in total value locked through the DAP staking. So these aren't essentially, you know, liquid tokens. These are A star tokens that are vesting primarily. And then we have a load of EVM, TVL down here, which the main aggregators like DeFi Llama are using for their data. So you can see they're growing. TVL going up on all fronts here, which is good to see. Bit of a dip down here, but it's just recovered here. Price generally is trending up as well. So all well and good with that. So this is Sota Watanabe. This is the founder of ASTAR. And these are a couple of tweets that I really pulled out here because these just seem really bullish to me. So first and foremost, we're going to enable the most important feature, which is DAP staking. This has now gone live. This is a basic income feature for all developers and stakers. And the more tokens stake to a specific DAP, the more income that goes to that DAP as well. So you can really support the DAPs that you like. This is just an innovative way of distributing the L1 token to the DAPs and also the stakers. This has not been done previously. I really like this. And then secondly, down here, there's a big gap in the market here for NFTs that are, you know, anime manga style. And so he says this, some of the amazing Japanese manga and anime NFTs will be deployed on A-Star. Super excited, A-Star may become a top NFT chain in the future. And the NFT marketplaces over here and the variety of different projects launched, uh, they're doing pretty well at the moment. So this is really interesting to me. You've got a Japanese based team, a large community over there as well. And we know the trends for this anime, for the manga, etc., is only growing and the NFT market with it will grow for those. So uh, definitely something to keep an eye on top of. Now, this is certainly not a ghost chain by any means. Today, the number of A-Star token holders reached 300,000. So this is crazy, a growth from just 100,000 back on the 29th of March. So you can see a large influx of new users over here. Maybe there will be some multiple wallets to those naysayers. Yeah, that probably does happen. People creating more wallets. However, that just shows you that there is a large amount of growth, even if say some of those are duplicate wallets, and there's still a lot of growth on this network. And further to this as well, they've now achieved 3.5 million total transactions. So definitely not a ghost chain by any means. And this is very bullish for this smart contract platform. I just think when you look at some of the competitors in the industry right now, which are clearly ghost chains with many multiple billion dollar valuations, doesn't make a lot of sense. And you've got these guys three, four months into the life cycle and are already onboarding loads of users and also getting transactions through as well. So uh, bullish in my opinion. Sota also had this to say very recently. So he seems to be traveling around the world, working remotely in different locations. It says this, so I was in Japan last month and I thought that Terra in Korea could be a star in Japan. So that 
puts uh, quite a nice picture in my mind as a real lunatic, someone who follows the Terra ecosystem very, very closely. So I put Sota, Wen, Mint, JP, YC, and Burn A Star like on Terra. So they recently launched their own Japanese stablecoin on the A Star network with the ticker JPYC. So I was just asking, you know, when can we start minting that and burning some of the A Star tokens? If that kind of thing did happen, I would expect all hell to break loose over on this chain. Now, DeFi Llama, let's have a little look. We have to scroll down a little bit here and see, you know, some of the up and coming chains, some of the ones that are under the radar. Rank 22 here is A Star Network. Total value locked around $600 million. This is on the EVM side of things and TVL to market cap ratio of 0.71. So interestingly enough, a much higher TVL than fellow, you know, parachain hopeful Moonbeam down here, just 139 million. And I don't even think Akala is currently on here, but outperforming the other parachains. And I think this will rise up the ranks from 22 in the coming months. And this will be interesting to, you know, track the movements of this and see how well it does perform. They've currently got around 12 dApps live. Here are those dApps, Starle Finance, Arth Swap, to name a few. But a lot more are coming online very soon. So it says this will be more than 20 in 30 days time. So 11 or 12 currently launched. We're going to see around another eight over this next month. So you can expect the TVL on this chain to continue to climb. Here's a nice little graphic of the various projects that have launched so far and what field they're in. And we can see from this, the various puzzle pieces you need to have on any chain are starting to be padded out. They've got an AMM, lending services, stable coin protocol, algorithmic stablecoin as well, yield optimizations, and yield aggregators as well. So a nice infographic of the up and coming dApps on this network to, you know, spend some time perusing. Then we have this Arth swap over here. So this one initially had an IDO last month. They raised $500,000. This is the main DEX over here. And currently I have been farming. I only put a small amount, about $1,000 on here in stablecoin assets. And then this is farming some Arth swap tokens, ARSW. So another interesting thing I found on Twitter recently was this. So it says the official residence explaining Japan's Web3 strategy to the Prime Minister Kishida here and then a response is rather interesting here from Sota we will do our best to be the core of Japan's Web3 strategy. As A-Star DGENs posted here, we believe our chief DGEN Sota will have something to do with this. Glad to be besides Sota in this revolution. So, so I think the Web3 movement over in Japan could have some input here from the likes of the A-Star network team. More on that in the future as and when the news drops, but this is a little bit of speculation on my part, but clearly they wouldn't have been tagged in this and been responding to this if there was nothing behind it. And now I want to go over with the NFT landscape on here briefly because it's super interesting to me due to the fact the style of NFTs that are going to be coming out, manga, anime, etc. They're huge out in the East and that's coming over to the West as well as a bit of a pop culture shift. Uh, but you can see some of the different art styles on here which kind of come under that category and I think this will kick off quite substantially in the future. So I do want to try and accumulate some of these blue chip assets on here if we can kind of, you know, see the woods from the trees because when you've got a brand new network to try and establish the blue chips after like a couple of months is super, super hard. But you can see the various collections on here right now but if you go over to tofu nft this is a multi-chain nft marketplace you can filter by a star and this is where all their main collections on the a star network are actually traded so you can see the biggest collection by volume so far almost a hundred thousand bucks have been traded for the a star cats very interesting and then second up a star degens let's actually click into that one so this one's a collection of seven 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 and this is essentially a VC DAO. So they're looking to make investments into early stage startups on the A-Star network. Now I did cover this one in the last video, which was around the 25th of February. And I did actually mention that these were under mint price at that point. Mint price was 600 A-Star. They're now trading over a 3X beyond that at around 1950 to 2000 A-Star is the floor right now. So that was a little bit of a missed opportunity, but I am tracking the floor on these and I do want to actually accumulate some uh, as they have a variety of investments 
currently under governance proposal through their Discord, which is interesting. And then A Star Cat seems to be the number one right now. Uh, the artwork is pretty damn cheeky, looks really cool. Just a little revision to that as well. A Star Cats is 7777, and the A Star DGENs, that ape collection, is 9999 in total. So just to update on those maximum supplies there. But these ones look pretty cute. And if we just filter by price low to high, you can see the bottom down here, we're looking at a floor price of around 550 A Star tokens which is around $85 only. So if these are to, you know, really flourish in the future, this is pretty early stages with this whole ecosystem, maybe not a bad opportunity to pick something up, which could be a blue chip at around $85 US dollars only. So a little bit more of a thread here on A Star DGENs, as these are the VC DAO. Um, and this one for me just seems really appealing due to the fact there's quite a bit of alpha being shared in the Discord. The floor has peaked up nicely as of late. Some of the core developers to this NFT project are also core developers on the A-Star team as well. So good links there. They're doing things correctly. They've also got this launch pad they recently uh, allocated some funds into as well. So it seems to me that they're making some good moves here as an NFT collection. So, so I'm thinking of taking a little bit of a bite at some of those. And then also the A-Star Cats as well. The most traded by volume, I think is super interesting. And I like the kind of art style behind this as well. So uh, probably pick up a couple of these, lock in some of my A-Star tokens into some NFTs and see where this heads over the coming weeks, months and years to come. So all in all, I think this is a layer one blockchain with huge potential. And I think it's being slept on by those in the West. So I think there's a great deal of alpha in keeping tabs on projects that are not being heavily promoted in your region. So I'll be keeping up to date with ASTAR. I will be quietly accumulating in the background here as I think this is super undervalued. And if it continues to dip more, I'll add more to my bag. I hope you enjoyed this one. I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure you subscribe if you're new here as well. Goodbye.